Waterworld, ladies and gents. Good movie, right? I like it. Anyway, I know uh, some people will hate it. For me, personally, I've got a huge soft spot for Waterworld. I don't know why. I just think it's a pretty decent film. And objectively, I'm sure it's probably terrible now if I, w if I go back and watch it. You know, you've got the smokers running around, trying to, you know, do battle with people, take everyone's resources. And then you've got, of course, you know, the sort of water kingdoms and things like that. And then the hybrid, the, mut the mutants. Um, but I really like this film. And now we're getting a sequel to it. That's right. A sequel TV series. Uh, by none other than Dan Trachtenberg, the guy who is currently working on Skull, the Predator prequel movie. That's right, that's happening. I've done a few videos on that as well, so please do check them out. But I think this is a really interesting approach. This is going to be a TV series, and I think actually that's, that's probably the best way to do a sequel justice. Because there's a lot to actually unpack about this world that you don't really get that... You, you don't get to grips with it properly in the movie, right? You don't have to. You don't have to. But there's a lot of information that you can give out, and they didn't. And I think that that was wise for the movie, because it's it created that sort of approach of, okay, well, I know just enough, you know? I'd like to know more, but I know just enough. i still like to know more, though. Uh, and it's a shame, because I don't think this movie ever garnered like that sort of cult-like status, uh, or, you know, of a lot of movies, Um of that time. Not that this is really of that time. It almost feels like an 80s movie, but it came out in 95. So it's interesting. Uh, so let's dive into this, ladies and gents. Uh, a follow-up to Universal's 1995 movie, Waterworld, starring Kevin Costner, is in the works for the small screen. The project, which hails from original producer John Davies and his Davis Entertainment, is in very early de development at UCP. Sources tell Deadline, Davis, uh, it's also told Deadline, Davis tells Collider when first reported the project that Dan Trachtenberg is attached to direct. Now, this actually bodes well for both projects. Uh, Dan Trachtenberg's Skull, as well as this. Why? Uh, because John Davies is one of the producers on Skull. And he's clearly liking what he's seeing. He's very clearly enjoying what he's seeing on that. Now, it doesn't, it, it, it doesn't obviously... 100% equate to quality. It could still be absolutely trash. We know that. But that movie's not even released yet. And boom, straight away, Dan Trachtenberg is attached to direct this. An entire series. That's that's really positive, actually. That really does bode well. Now, interestingly, they say that the series will pick up with the film's characters 20 years later. Okay. I mean, it's not going to be Kevin Costner, is it? Is it? Or is it going to be the younger versions? You know, the kids and stuff like that. It's interesting. So no platform is attached, but sources close to the project say it could potentially be set at UCP sister streamer Peacock. Terrible platform to go. Terrible. Won't be seen by that many people. Don't put on Peacock. Uh, talks are currently underway with potential writers. Now, it's interesting that Dan Trachtenberg's not going to be writing this. I would have thought that he would. Um, but, I mean, let, let's let's have a look at this, right? 20 years later, it's going to follow up straight away. Characters are still there. 20 years later, world has moved on. Well, they found land, didn't they? They found land at the end of uh, Waterworld, if I remember correctly. I'm pretty sure I do. Was that like a horse that ran in as well? I, I do I do really like this movie, trust me. Um, but where do you go from there in this water world? Where do you go from there? You found land at that point. It almost came full circle and it almost has sort of explained itself. Uh, are we going to suddenly get the rise of the smokers and they're going to you know, have too much pollution? There's going to be even more water. It's a bit of a peculiar approach to take uh, when it comes to this. There was some more information here. It says UCP would not comment. Set in a post-apocalyptic future ravaged by climate change. Calm down with the woke comments. Uh, the film revolves around a world that is covered in water. The polar ice cap has completely melted and the sea level has risen over 25,000 feet, covering nearly every inch of land. Costner stars as the Mariner, a drifter who sails the Earth in his trim uh, trimaran. Uh, Costner also was a producer on the film, which was co-written by Pete Rader, or Peter Rader and David Tui. Uh, and directed by Kevin Reynolds, 
Jan Triplehorn, uh, Tina Ma Magarino, uh, and the late Dennis Hopper also starred. Um, so all the time, uh, at the time, Waterworld was the most expensive film ever made because there was a lot of stuff set in water, obviously. Uh, it opened to mediocre reviews, getting praise for its futuristic setting and premise, but criticism for its execution and acting performances. It was unable to recoup its massive budget at the box office, but it later became profitable due to video and other post-cinema sales. The film was nominated for a uh, Best Sound Oscar. I really like this film. I know it was panned, but I still really like it. I'm, I'm massive. I do actually rate this film quite highly. Uh, it'll be interesting to see whether Kevin Costner comes back in some capacity. I, he's not going to be acting, is he? 20 years later, same characters. He can't be acting in this. I mean, it came out in 1995. I mean, you know, it's quite a while away. <laughs> He's, he's a lot older now. He's not the action star that he was. I mean, he was barely an action star back then. Let's be honest. Um, so I can't see him acting in this. But I have a lot of hope for this. And again, the set pieces that they made were they're bloody great. They were really good. I remember the sequences so well. The sort of quick, 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 quick run, jumping over. It was very good. I, genu I have a, a big soft spot for this film. Um, but they found land. They did find land, so I'm a bit, I'm a bit uh, bemused as to where they're going to go with it. Uh, the smokers will have to return, but will they be the smokers? Will they change that? Because inevitably, they, we, you know, 1995 wasn't that politically correct. Are we going to go really weird and politically correct nowadays? Are they still going to be smoking? Are they going to be the smokers? Um, I can't imagine they'll get away with that either in this day and age, which is sad, really, isn't it? 1995 wasn't that long ago. Kind of was, but it wasn't that long. It didn't, doesn't feel that long ago. Um, and you could have all of that stuff on TV and movies, and it wasn't such a big problem. But nowadays, oof, got to hide all of that. Um, I do think Peacock is definitely a bad place for it, though. I'm not happy with Peacock. I think that that's going to be... It narrows its scope for sort of viewership um, but there you go ladies and gents what do you guys think Waterworld sequel in the works let me know down below in the comment section if you are new here please do hit subscribe you clearly enjoyed the content because you stayed this long hit that like button and share it that really does help the channel out i've got a peer box in the description box send stuff for me to unbox cheers guys take care